So this may look like macOS from the icon style and the app opening and closing animation to the whole user interface but this is a Linux distribution called PearOS. So in this video let us take a look at it and at the end we'll see how to install it with Windows in dual boot. So before talking about the widget on the left side let's take a look at this browser which is called Pafari but it's actually the Firefox browser made to look like Safari and it has all the basic functionalities. We also have an app store and this is a Linux app store and it has hundreds of applications so this is a really good addition. We can easily just install the applications that we want and use it directly so no need to install it from the the terminal but we can do that if you want to you can access the terminal from the app launcher and then use it to install applications and perform other um, advanced functions and so let's take a look at the widgets so right click on the home screen then select the option add a widget and here you can see a lot of options and we can also download additional widgets from the internet and install them so just drag and drop and I've created this widget section so now in the settings we have the appearance in the dark mode the light mode the icons text clock and they have really gone far and beyond to make it look like the Mac OS you can see the the subtle shadows and the designs the widgets the cursor the font so they are all done a really good job and you can access all that from this appearance settings and you can here you can see the version and it is running on the kda plasma the external environment but it also has the gnome environment uh, inspiration as well so it's kind of a mix of everything which is not a bad thing at all we also see something called piri which is of course derived from Siri name but this is not working at least for me I tried it with the mic and all but this just wasn't working but they have just added it for the maybe for just a fun of it and uh, we have the quick toggles on the top side for brightness battery and notifications also the calendar and all of this has a very subtle translucent background which looks really cool and all these other applications are basically Linux applications meant to look like the Mac OS ones and this is the file manager and just check out the the transitions this looks very cool and they have uh, done a really good job of it and I've been using it for a while and, and it's quite well for the daily usage so let's take a look at how to install it so on your Windows computer uh, open the disk management you can do that by right clicking on the start menu and choose disk management and here we need to shrink our partition so I have only one partition but if you have a D drive click right click and choose shrink then you need to put the amount of size that you want the partition to be for example I have like 40 uh, 50,000 for 50 GB or above or whatever it's it must be above 20 GB at least and then you will have something called this unallocated space and you need to create a new volume I've already done that so I'm not doing it here but just follow those steps and uh, then we will need the um, a program called Balina Hatcher to make the bootable pen drive so install uh, download and install this program and finally we'll need the pair OS the ISO image so visit this website and uh, we can use it uh, you can download this using this link that is not available on the official source so we need to download it from like side load I have uploaded it on the drive so you can download it from there and then open the Balina Hatcher application and select the ISO image now select your pen drive 8 GB or above should work and then start the flashing process and this may take a long time and once you see 1% this uh, this means it will flash it successfully and once it's uh, like flash and done you need to go to your BIOS using this key so power of your device then press the power button and BIOS key and make sure you disable the secure boot and legacy boot similarly you can go to the boot menu of your computer and uh, after that you will see your pen drive so select your pen drive the first one for me 
and then select the first image which is called the pair os monterey it may take a long time before you see the pair os logo and uh, finally you will see this screen and in the home screen you need to double click on the install pair os icon and you will see this uh, setup screen so select your language and your time zone and on this screen we need to select uh, replace a partition because we have created a partition in the windows and then find it using the size of the partition so for me it is this one with 48 gb similarly and just click on that and you will see which partition is going to replace in the below screen then just confirm and next here fill your uh, the username and password and also click on the login automatically and now this will start the installation process and it may take a long time and finally you can just restart and this is the dual boot menu you can select between the pair os and the windows so that was the process for dual boot installation of pair os but you can find many other such beautiful linux operating system much better in this playlist so make sure you check them out do like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one